Hello Game of Thrones newbies, this is Mistress Yoda. In this video, we're going to talk about your barracks and your infantry troops. So let's first talk a little bit about infantry troops, okay? Um, the advantage of your infantry troops is they have the highest base defense of all the troops. They are strong against cavalry troops. Um, those are their advantage. So if you go to attack someone and they're full of cavalry troops, you're going to want to send infantry at them. Okay. Infantry, um, attacking, um, they're strong against cavalry. Um, and that's, you know, both if someone sends their cavalry at you, um, the, your infantry is going to be the strongest troop type against them, um, at a base and, um, you know, if you're going to attack someone's cavalry troops or someone who's got a real heavy cavalry focus, you're going to send your infantry, okay? <clears throat> now, the disadvantage to your infantry troops, okay, um, is they march slow, all right? Um, they're going to slow down your marches. You can test this by going out to a creature on the map and clicking attack and select none and only pull up your infantry troops um, and and put those in your march and you'll see the timer on your march um, and then take those away and then pull your cavalry troops up um, and you'll see that the timer is much faster with them. So your infantry is slowest. Its weakness is ranged troops, okay? Um, so if you are attacking someone's cavalry, um, the troops are strong, um, but they're weak against range. Range is going to have an advantage over cavalry troops. So just remember, um, infantry is strong against cavalry, weak against range, um, and they're slow. And for the most part, um, any gear that you make for your infantry troops is, you know, they don't really have SOP, seat of power, um, gear for these troop types. So when you go to your barracks and you hit your info here, um, you'll see that it just really tells you the barracks training capacity at, you know, level 14 is 39, um, and that's just the base. You can up it with gear and things like that. Um, you're going to hear a lot of players talking about T1 troops, T2, T T3. They won't really talk about those guys because, you know, <laughs> those kind of suck. But um, you'll really hear players talking about T8 troops, T9 troops, T10 troops, T11 troops, and be really excited about those. Um, there's reasons why. Um, your militia are the T1, footmen are T2, swords are T3, man-at-arms are T4, axemen are T5, captains T6, sworn swords T7, unsullied are T8s, um, veterans are T9, household guard is T10, and the stormcrow footmen are T11. On the side, you'll see the level, so you have to be a keep level 30 to upgrade your barracks to a 30 to get those T10s unlocked, okay? You've got to be a keep level 22, um, to get your T8 Unsullied unlocked. So when you go in here and you take a peek, um, on this one, you'll see like a T1 Militia, right? If we're just going to train one T1 Militia, um, it would cost me 87 food. If I do a two, it's going to cost me 150 food. If I do a three, it's going to cost me 154 food and now 72 wood per troop. Um, and it just goes up when you start training T4s, you'll use food, wood, and stone. And that's how much it costs of that resource across this bottom bar for each type. Um, and the fives, you know, you're using that when you get up here, um, you can't see it, but it, it's going to start requiring you to, um, use iron to train the troops too. Okay. Um, so I probably should have one of my higher level keeps. Uh, on this video so that you could see that. But um, just as a basic, let's take a look at what 
um, we've got as far as stats on this troop. So if you look at info, um, you see that, of course, um, here each, you know, T1 is worth two power. So um, you'll get two power to add it to your power bar, bar, the power bar for each one of these. He's got an attack of eight, defense of eight, health of 11, um, the march speed is nine, troop load is four. That's if you're attacking, um, say, like another player and you're stealing their food and wood. Um, each T1 militia will walk away from attacking with four <laughs> food or four wood. <clears throat> okay. Um, so those are some basics there. And then the wall damage, you see it does no wall damage. The only troop type that does wall damage is your siege. Um, so now that we looked at this and you remember that it has an attack of eight, a troop load of four, um, now we're going to go over here and we're going to compare that to what it looks like on a T5 troop. And you see that the attack is much higher at 27. His health is higher. Defense is higher. The speed's a little higher. He can carry four <laughs> um, food or wood away. Um, so that's the basic there. Um, we do not dismiss troops. Um, the dismiss is here... I mean, if I click dismiss and are you sure? Yes. That would mean that every single T5 Axeman that I've trained would be dismissed as if they never existed, as if I'd never trained them. They're gone. We do not dismiss troops in Game of Thrones Conquest. Um, I guess maybe some people with really high level um, keeps, if they have like a bunch of, you know, they've unlocked T10s and they have four marches of T T10, T10s or something and, and th their food's getting eaten like crazy. As you can see, this T5 will eat 1.6 of my food every hour. Um, so that may be a reason, or if you've made a, an alt to farm and you did some troop training in there, um, which we'll talk about later and you need to dismiss the troops and it says dismiss the troops as part of your instructions on, on farming a keep or something like that. That's where your dismiss button is. Okay. Other than that, generally we do not dismiss troops, um, for any other reason, because your troops, are, you know, <laughs> bread and butter. This is a war game. You don't dismiss troops generally. <laughs> Um, so that's the barracks and, um, you know, we'll talk about enhancements in another video. So I hope that helped answer any questions that you have, um, surrounding the infantry troops. Remember highest base defense of all troops, strong against cavalry, weak against range. They lack gear for seats of power fights, SOP fights, and they're march slow. So they're a pain when you're going out to um, attack creatures or any anything like that. They're going to be a slow march. All right, Mistress Yoda signing out. I hope you all have a great night.